But enough for the moment of spoofs. Let's move on to some really heavy stuff. Lady Hawk, which is set in medieval times and tells of the ill-fated love of Etienne of Navarre and Isabeau of Anjou. And boy, do I mean ill-fated, because he's doomed to be a wolf by night and she a hawk by day. Well, think about it. They couldn't even go out for a drink together, let alone anything else. The star-crossed lovers, Romeo and Juliet, are, by comparison, only in the third division. The film's directed by Richard Donner and stars Rutger Hauer as Navarre, Michelle Pfeiffer, last seen in Into the Night, as Isabeau, and Matthew Broderick, whom you may remember from War Games, as Philippe the Mouse. It's a medieval fairy tale about a young man, played by Redker Hauer, and a young woman, played by me, um, who fall in love, and an evil bishop places a curse, and um, they meet up with young Matthew Broderick, who is a young lad who escapes the dungeons, um, and he helps them break the curse. It starts with getting out of jail for me, and then a, a whole adventure through, uh, through escaping and, and meeting up with, with two people. And I also, I'm wet all the time, which is interesting, because I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that when I read the script. Like, there are a lot of scenes where it says he, he bursts from the water and runs across the bridge, you know? So what you don't realize is that means um, you know, two hours of bursting from water, and then two days of this scene of running across a bridge where before every take, they squeeze a sponge over my head and spray water all over me. And I was very cold for a lot of it. For an actor to uh, get through that picture, it was terribly difficult. I mean, Matthew had, uh, I mean, we were in snow, we were in ice, and he had to pretend he had escaped from a prison and uh, a dungeons, rather, or the evil Bishop of Aquila. And uh, in so doing, obviously, he didn't run out with a heavy overcoat. And in so doing, uh, in designing the wardrobe all the time, we weren't that smart to think that, wow, if we dress him in long sleeves and long pants and high necks and things, we can uh, underdress him with warm clothes or wetsuits. Uh, we were able to get him on sometimes, but sometimes it was too obvious. And he would freeze his little butt off. But uh, he's an actor. He uh, carried it through. He made it look cold. And the main reason he made it look cold because it was damn cold. Well, I like the real locations just, you know, because I like to see these different places. And it usually won't, I don't think, affect a scene too much. But it can sometimes because, for me, because um, if it's a set, if it's a fake thing, then when I, when I step, step onto it, it feels like you've come into the, the sort of magic land or something. It's like, here's the area where this is done. It's, it was built just for making films or just for a play, whatever. It was people building something just for this one magical moment. Whereas if you, people just set up a camera in a big valley, it kind of feels a little bit like, you know, what are we doing here? You know, I mean, it's, it's not, it doesn't have quite as much like, it's not as specific for just doing that. So sometimes it's a little harder to concentrate maybe. What do you suppose happens next? Lady Hawk opens in August, and that brings us back to spoof again, and 